Hi and welcome to this video course on masking techniques in Photoshop. In this course you will learn everything about layer masks and how to create them effectively and efficiently. All the techniques explained in this course revolve around one central question. How can you create complex layer masks quickly and precisely? Layer masks are at the core of the most powerful techniques available in Photoshop. They allow you to blend the content of different layers in many different ways. If you are not using layer masks, any adjustment that you apply to an image applies to all the pixels. This is what we call a global adjustment. Global adjustments can already take you a long way. But the real power of Photoshop and its smaller sibling Photoshop elements lies in selective editing techniques, where you adjust different regions of an image in different ways. Layer masks are the key to selective editing, because they allow you to isolate regions of an image and process them completely separately. Now here's the contents of this course in a nutshell. In the rest of this chapter, you will learn about the basics of layer masks. We will go through some of the fundamental concepts that you need to understand to be able to follow along. In Chapter 2 I will teach you everything about making selections. In most cases making a selection is the first step to creating a layer mask. So this is an essential skill. We will look at each of the available selection tools and I will show you how to use them properly. You will also learn how selections and masks are related and how they are different. Chapter 3 is about paths and how to use them to manually create precise selections. Paths are a generic tool for creating vector shapes that can be scaled to arbitrary resolutions without pixelation. These shapes can be turned into masks and this makes paths a masking tool that is used by many professionals because it gives you ultimate control over the shape of your mask. In Chapter 4 we will talk about luminosity masks. This technique uses the brightness information of an image layer to generate masks that give you fine-grained control over the tones in your images. Luminosity masks have gained widespread usage for example in landscape photography because they allow the photographer to overcome many common exposure and post-processing problems while retaining a completely natural looking result. I will show you how to create and use them in your images. Chapter 5 is called Advanced Masking. Here you will learn about tools and methods for putting all your new masking knowledge together. We will discuss different ways for combining masks and for refining them to solve specific problems in your images. You will also learn techniques for freehand masking, where you only use the brush tool and your painting skills to mask any object in your images. Finally, you will learn how to use Topaz Remask, which is a dedicated masking plugin. In Chapter 6 I will summarize the course and give you some guidance on which techniques to use in which situations.